In the last few years, a whole range of holistic therapies seem to have become more and more popular. Many people tell of miracle-like experiences. Most of these therapies are based on the existence of what they call energy. Humanity's knowledge about itself and its world hasn't stopped evolving since its birth. Science itself is still growing and learning every day. Can energy actually be the future of science? Energy is a phenomenon, an entity. It's almost indefinable and changeable. It can masquerade as power, as force, light, heat, sensation, even love. Energy is literally life. It's the force of existence. It is in everything. It's the reality of how we're all connected and how this world is only one aspect of it rather than the source of life. Well, it's like this. Energy is around us all the time, everywhere. It is what we're actually made up of. In fact, Max Planck, who is the founder of quantum physics, discovered that spiritual energy and life force energy is actually the same thing. Throughout history, it has been termed many things such as chi, prana or life force. Scientists know that electromagnetic radiation, or energy, exists in many forms depending on its wavelength. From light to sound, infrared to x-rays, a change in frequency can create a completely different energy, which affects us and our world in a whole different way. Energy is the driving force behind all of creation. I'm energy, your energy. Every thought, every action, every feeling we have is energy. How we feel and react to energy is important because ultimately it shapes our reality. Energy is everything. We actually are made of energy. We are made of four different energy bodies which create a physical body and the aura. The body and the aura are made up of four different energy bodies. Each of them vibrates at a different resonance and has a different function. The etheric body, the emotional body, the mental body and finally the spiritual body. Well, our body exists on several planes and it's when these energy bodies are congruent that we experience optimal wellness. So this is the concept of true healing as opposed to just having to learn to live with an illness. I'm here with Joanne who's been an energy healing practitioner for many, many years now. Thank you so much for joining me, Joanne. Oh, thanks very much, Stephen. Now, can you tell me a little bit why you believe in energy? Stephen, I've been aware of energy and our subtle bodies for as long as I can remember. It's a world that's always been very real for me and allowed me to facilitate processes that rebalance and have the capacity to heal on all levels incredibly quickly. Everybody actually has this ability to at the very least feel these energies and the easiest way is to simply place your palms two to five inches apart and slowly moving your hands back and forth, you'll start to notice an energy building up. You'll start to feel magnetic resistance. That sensation is actually the edge of one of your energy bodies. Wow, that's amazing. It is wonderful, isn't it? Humanity's knowledge about our physical body has never stopped evolving and expanding. From our ancestors' primitive beliefs, to da Vinci's groundbreaking sketches of the human anatomy, and now to quantum physics. Today, science is able to look deeper into our structure, to find atoms and what creates them, energy. The etheric body is a thin, invisible field of energy which runs through and extends a few centimetres past the physical body. It is an energy matrix made up of chakras and meridians that sustain and support the physical body. There are no life forms, including plants and animals, that do not have an etheric body. Our physical body, and therefore our physical health and well-being, is directly related to the mental and emotional conditioning in our lives both positive and negative. In the last 200 years, and with perhaps quite a hesitant beginning, humanity has awakened to an entirely new level of development with the emergence of psychiatry, psychology and related therapies. We started to look more deeply into our emotions and thoughts to make them an important and undeniable part of our health and well-being. The emotional body is shaped like an egg. It is a fluid, moving, colourful field that contains our physical and etheric bodies. It holds all our emotions, which are bursts of energies of different colours and vibrations. Emotions teach us who we are and show us the way. Your soul gives you excitement and passion for the things you are meant to do, for your own path. What we need to do is to stop overthinking everything and to start feeling. Follow your heart. Emotions are a language unique to each person. They are a communication from our inner self to let us know whether we are going against ourselves. A choice that may seem logical or safe that is accompanied by a heavy feeling is not the right one and the negative feeling is the clue. 
Most people think that thoughts and ideas come from the brain, but in reality, they begin as abstract impressions in the mental body, which draws these impressions from the spiritual body and gives them structure. It turns them into something that's concrete and real. For example, say you get an impression of a computer software program you want to create. Now you've got two choices. You can simply just let it go and nothing eventuates, or you can think about it, play with it, and let it take form so you can action it out. Beliefs are made up from consistently held thoughts, and it is our consistently held beliefs that determine the attitudes in our life. They steer our life just the way a rudder would determine the course of a ship. Attitudes are held in the body's physical structures and in the biochemistry as energetic patterns. And it is our positive attitudes which make us feel light and energetic, while negative attitudes, if they remain unchanged over a long period of time, they can form energy blockages which can manifest in the body as disease. So Joanne, can you please explain what can be achieved through energy healing? Stephen, I see miracles every day. Energy healing has the power to heal physical, mental and emotional issues incredibly easily by simply clearing, repairing and rebalancing the, the body's energy system. Fears, phobias, limiting beliefs, negative emotions, past issues and experiences, anything at all can be healed easily. I've had a client, for instance, that suffered from severe anxiety, depression and agoraphobia for 28 years, totally free in just one session. The existence of repressed emotions and their impact on our health and well-being has been confirmed in many ways. Perhaps we don't truly understand what negative emotions are or how to deal with them. We seem to bury many of these feelings instead of processing and using them to move forward. A repressed emotion is an emotion which has been stored in the body because it has been not processed in a healthy way at the time it occurred. And this actually prevents the body from being nourished in the way that it normally would be by its energy supply. So what happens is the body will give us signals such as being in pain or feeling tired. And if we ignore these signals, they increase in intensity until we heal the repressed emotion. I think it's essential to acknowledge repressed emotions and to identify them and to understand where they've been put. They can have been buried in the unconscious. And once they've been identified, to find a professional practitioner who can enable us to excavate those emotions, to process them, so that they're not buried again to resurface again in the future. The best way to deal with the repressed emotion is to bring it to your conscious awareness, to acknowledge and validate it, and that gives the opportunity for these stagnant energies to surface so we can clear them. The human mind is actually made of two different parts, of two different energy bodies, the, the lower mind and the higher mind. The brain is the center of conscious awareness, constantly accesses and translates these energies from these fields into chemical and also electrical messages within the body. Um, fears, mental issues, anxieties are often due to a lack of connection or problem in the connection between the higher and the lower mind. And this can be quite easily fixed through energy healing. When we channel the abundant universal energy into our bodies, we begin the process of restoring our natural energy system and therefore peace of mind. The last energy field is called the spiritual body. Humanity's spirituality is an ever-present aspect within each of us, expressed in as many ways as there are individuals. Can this be anchored in our own energetic makeup? I associate the spiritual body with consciousness, what we have learned, what we aspire to, our aim and purpose in life. It is our connection, our direct line to the source of everything. The spiritual body holds our true essence and our potential to be. I see it as the higher self aspect, the part of us that knows who we are. Its purpose is to give us the bigger picture because it knows where we're going. So it inspires us to get in touch with our destiny. It enlightens us and motivates us to evolve. You know, once we begin to understand that we're co-creators with the universe, then we begin to understand that all of our thoughts and emotions affect our reality.